What's going on, my rec peeps? Efra Serrano coming at you from beautiful El Dorado Park, and this week is Dinosaur Week. Today I have a special treat for you. I am gonna teach you how to make dinosaur tracks using a sponge. So let's go inside and let's check out our supplies. Okay, folks, in your kit, you should have the following. A set of instructions, a pink cardstock, one dino print template, one sponge, and one cup of paint. As an added bonus, we have included a connect the dots coloring dino activity. What you're gonna need from home are a pen, pencil, or marker, a pair of scissors, and remember, don't forget to ask your parents for permission before you do any kind of cutting. And lastly, a small plate that has a raised border on it or any kind of homework that has a raised border on it. So gather up your supplies and let's get on to the project. For our first step, using your pair of scissors, go ahead and cut out your dino print template, your end result should look something like this. Next, place the template on top of the sponge and using your marker, pen, or pencil, outline your template onto the sponge. Once you're done, remove the template and your end product should look something like this. After you're done outlining your template, get your scissors again and you begin cutting your template from the sponge until the only thing left is just your sponge template. Hey, what do you know? A dino track. Next, pour your paint into your flatware and smoothen it out with your finger all the way across the bottom base. Alrighty, now for our main event. Using your dino track, you're gonna go ahead and place it onto the paint and gently dab it onto the plate till you soak up the entire base on the bottom. Make sure that you cover the entire track. Once you dab it, place it on the bottom, right corner of your pink cardstock and gently press down then lift. Voila, there is your first dino track. For your second track, you're gonna repeat the process. Dab it, make sure you fill the entire bottom of it. It should look like this, and then you're gonna place it on the left side in front of it, and then gently just squeeze down. And then release. And there is your second track. Go ahead and do it two more times so that you can get four dino tracks. Okay, my junior paleontologists, while we are waiting for your dino tracks to dry, please take out your dino worksheet and with the pencil, begin to connect all of the dots on both activities. If you have any markers or crayons at home, feel free to color it in. And as an added activity bonus, do you know what kind of dinosaurs they are? I'll give you a hint. This one starts with the letter T, and this one starts with the letter V. Okay, my junior Jurassic kids, after connecting all the dots, did you figure out what kinds of dinosaurs they are? Here's the answer. Tyrannosaurus Tony and Velociraptor Victor. Yeah, I knew you'd get it right. Great job. Alrighty, folks. That concludes my video for this week. And as usual, I hope you enjoyed making it as much as I enjoyed teaching you. Please stay tuned for more upcoming videos on our Wreck at Home video series. And in the meantime, please continue to stay safe and keep watching. Till next time, Efren out.